Hey, this is David, one of the makers of this game that you're playing on the Metaverse ship, and I'm going to be taking you through quest number one. Now on quest number one, you're going to be looking at the cipher sheet on the left, and then you're going to go to the right of the ship there, and you'll start playing the video where Ricky explains how to make sense of the cipher sheet and how to work with it. That's really helpful. You can also take a look at the kiosks. They tell you more about the adventure that you're going to go on. And then I just head right into the adventure. One side is about the inventions, and this side that I'm going into is about the life of Lewis Latimer. And there are the sheets. Those are the sheets you need to pay attention to, which have the word circled with a symbol by the paragraph and a number by that word. And that's what you need to write down is that number because that's really, really important. So those are all over this side and on the other side of the ship. Now you can right click on an image if you want to, to see it full screen and not have to tilt up or whatever, if, you, if that's something you'd rather do. So once you've got the numbers from the life side, then I'm going over to the invention side. I'm going to the front of the ship and then coming back around and I'm heading over to the technical drawing part of the inventions, which is at the back of the ship, which is the earliest part of Lewis Latimer's work life. And here again, some more circles, some more symbols, and some more numbers. You got to write those down. Those are really important for the quest coming up. So, and again, you can click, make it full screen if you want to, or you can just look at it that way. I'm doing one last check around, see, making sure I didn't miss anything. Again, this is the invention side of the ship. And then I'm going to head over to the actual quest portal to enter. Now, the quest portal, you'll see on the left, again, your cipher, just in case you want to look at it again. The center quest, uh, center portal is the one with quest one. That's the one you want to use. Click on it, and it'll start loading the game in a new tab for you. It takes uh, a little bit of time to load, and then you'll be ready and set to go. Feel free to click on the blue square on the bottom right and it'll make it go full screen. Go and start a new game. I selected Creeley because I like him. Other people like Drebo. And then I'm ready to start. As soon as you start uh, this part of the game, you'll be able to see that if you go right up to the area where Ricky's picture is, that Ricky's a recording will play for you and also the quest as far as how to get started will be explained to you. Uh, but here we are in the quantum space and we're getting up on top of the tower and looking at Inception Island, which is where we get started, which is such a cool island. There's so many fun adventures we're going to have here. And then I'm picking up some coins and a few batteries to kind of charge me up and get a little bit of money because I'm going to need that. And then I'm going to head over to the lab. You don't have to do that. You can head right over to the lab. But again, I'm making sure to look out for these things called bogs and erasers to not get attacked by them. You'll learn more about those in a little bit. Then we go to the red dot. We step onto it. And there we are. We're congratulated for getting to the lab and again ricky will tell you everything about the quests and what you need to do there again anytime you need the cipher sheet there it is in the lab if you need to reference we reference it but again it's good to write down your own numbers and everything there's also information about the bogs and the erasers the bogs take your health the erasers take your money on this quest and you need to look out for them then on the right next to that is some information about the things that help you the brain disc boost, the batteries, the money, and the orange star markers that help you get through the quest. So now that I've got all my information, I'm heading over to star number one. I'm collecting a few more brains and some money, and then I'm going to star number one. Star number one is where we get started and we're told we need to pick up some artifacts on the island. We're looking for a pencil and we're looking for the metal, the city metal, which is the hometown that Lewis Latimer was born in. So I've gotten my numbers. I know what number on the building I'm looking for, and I'm hunting around for that. And I'm going to head over to find the city medal first. And that is number 37. And sure enough, there's the city medal. So I grab it and the little brain boost beside that. And then, oh, no, that was a battery. It wasn't a brain boost. I'm heading over there. Now I'm going to look for the pencil. But as you see, the brain, uh, the metal gave me 280 uh dollars well actually i had a few 
a few coins I'd already collected, but gave me some good money because I, when I go shopping for things, I'm going to need uh, quite a bit of money. So that's awesome. So you need to get the artifacts to get the money. Then I find the pencil, pick that up. It's been buried in the bricks. And again, I got some more money and I've got my artifact. I'm ready to go. So now I need two more artifacts and I need to figure out where I need to go for those. And I'm guessing it's another island, but I'm not exactly sure where. So now I'm gonna go to star number two to figure out what I need to do next. So there's star number two. And it says I need to figure out how to get a ferry ticket and get to Boston. Well, fortunately, star number two is right next to, and again, with quantum space, things are a little bit wonky, but if you walk up to that building, you'll see it says ferry tickets here, and you're able to buy a ticket. And then I hop into the gate, departures to Boston, head onto the boat, and boom, I'm transported over to Boston, where I step into the arrivals, and, oh, I just thought maybe I'll buy a ferry ticket, but I decided, no, I'll do that later. But I'm gonna collect some more money and some brains, and then I'm going to get some more information about what I need to do next. And sure enough, here are the artifacts that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the records, the school records of Lewis Latimer, and his journal his stolen journal. So I'm gonna run around the island, and again, these would be corresponding with the numbers that are on your cipher sheet and figuring out where it is. So I'm looking at buildings, seeing what, what buildings have numbers, and see if there's a number that matches what's on my cipher sheet. So that you can look all over town. And there's a lot of different ways to get to the things that you're looking for. But again, um, I'm just looking around, picking up a few coins. Oh, there's an eraser. He taxed me, steals a little bit of my money. That's okay. I've got plenty of money. Um, but I'm going to pick a little bit up, some an extra battery pill, and then head over. And there's, oh, there's the right number. So I'm going to grab the Latimer journal and then look around and... There, I'm gonna jump and I got rid of the bog by jumping on the bog. Now the bogs, when you jump on them, they don't come back, so that's really good. So that's one strategy if you want to jump on the bogs so they don't come and bug you again. Uh, but again, I'm looking for the numbers, the green numbers, the green building numbers are up high and the red ones are a little bit lower, but see which ones tie in with the sheet that you're uh, working with your cipher sheet. There's the number that I need for my cipher sheet, and then I'm gonna head around. There's nothing up front, so I'm just gonna look around back and see. <gasps> there it is. There's his papers. Awesome. So now I've got all four of the artifacts. What do I need to do next? Well, I need to head over and go to star number three. So I'm gonna go look for star number three. Now that's number four, so I don't need that yet. So I'm gonna head over to star number three. There's star number three. Boom. All right, there's my message. It tells me what I need to do, which is actually to go shopping. With all this money I got, this is kind of fun. Now I get to spend it. I need to buy stuff. Now what's really cool is that it's not just about buying things. You're gonna figure out that there's more to getting this that happens when you buy the right things. There's the shopping clues that you need. Literally, we're telling you what to buy. So buy the right things. Now, if you buy the wrong things, you can sell it back. You lose a little bit of money. But by this time, you should have plenty of money to buy what you need to buy. So I've got my four things that I need to buy. And now I need to figure out what to do next, which means going over to star number four. Star number four tells me what? Hmm. Let's see. Oh my gosh. This is all tied in with not only getting things about Louis Latimer and the beginning of his career journey, which was being a technical drawer and being able to learn about inventions, but also about getting his father's freedom papers. His father escaped from slavery, and from that he got freedom papers. But those freedom papers have been stolen. Well, to unlock them, we need to get the freedom paper key. Remember that area that we went to at the beginning where we started? That place was locked up. Well, on my way to get the key, which is on the Bog Island, I uh, jumped off and I died. So now I'm running back to the island and having to, again, see if I can make the jump and then deal with all the bogs. So here I am heading over to that. Um, again, take your time. Uh, you've got plenty of um, health and you've got plenty of money now, so you're in good shape. So now I'm gonna eke up to the edge and jump. Whoop, I made it, there I go. So now, Dealing with the bogs, jumping on them. There we go. Handling it like a 
Lumi Bot Ninja. So there's the key. I grabbed the key and some congratulations from Ricky. Ricky's such a good coach as we're going through our quests. And now we head back to the uh, island to be able to unlock the freedom papers. So here I am heading back. It tells me, it gives me a great message when I get on the island that the key is un, uh, that it's, the key is unlocked, and now I can head over to Inception Island. So here we go. I'm running this at kind of like 200%. You're not your game's not going to run this fast, and that's okay. But this is just to keep it short. I wanted to uh, run it quick uh, so that you can see everything, but not have to worry about uh, going through the gameplay at regular time. So I buy a ferry ticket and I head back to the Lab Island or Inception Island. We use both terms at times here in the quantum space. So now I head over to Quantum Island. Now back on Quantum Island, you can see right over there, that's where we're heading. There, there's some bog fire that we're gonna have to deal with, oh my gosh. But hopefully with the key that we've got, we're able to unlock the door that blocks us, blocks our access to that island. So let's see if that works. So I go up the tower, come down the stairs, kind of back to where we started, which is kind of cool and interesting. And sure enough, up, there goes the gates, and now I'm hopping over past and through the bog fire. Now, there's some of the islands that are moving just a little bit, so you have to be careful and just time your thing right. Now, you've got plenty of health, but you still have to watch out for it. Don't stand in the bog fire, because that'll run down your health. So then I navigate in between, and then when the islands come close by, then I jump on them. Oh, wow, I just made that. And then here we go to the last island and i hop and there are the freedom papers yes freedom is so awesome so now we have to take the papers back to the lab and put them into the blue arch which is again if we look at the lab it'll tell you that that's where you need to bring things back to so there i'm making sure that i make my way safely onto the on the islands to get make my way back and then here i am Running up the stairs, we're almost done. This is so cool. A little charge of battery, heading down. I don't know, yeah. Oh, the one thing you need to know is the, the bogs and the erasers do regenerate when you change islands. So there are some bogs and some erasers I gotta look out for. But here I go, I run into the arch and there we did it. We unlocked Lewis Latimer and there he is. He appears to us. Now there'll be some other times that he appears too, but this is so cool. And we successfully completed quest one. Congratulations. Now you have fun, figure it out for yourself, but I hope you enjoyed this playthrough.